Bubby means grandmother in Yiddish. I have five kids, and I have nine grandchildren and one great-grandchild. I am a weaver. I bake. I cook. I needlepoint, crochet, dive, flying, and I think that's probably all for now. I've been weaving since approximately 2004. I started weaving because a good friend of mine who thought that because I love crafts, I might love this hobby as well. So she introduced me to it, and my initial reaction was fear because it looked so difficult, and it truly is in the beginning. I have made blankets, placemats, scarves, but my primary hobby, I guess, has turned into making talits, which are prayer shawls for the Jewish faith. I'm on number 16 right now. They take about four months, four to six months. My group is called Lucy Quarrier Weavers. It was founded in the late 1800s, I believe, and it is still in existence today. It's a very unique group because very few states or cities have groups that actually weave together in one place. They have groups that weave at home and then meet and discuss it, but very few have them as we do in a studio. I don't know. Um, I've woven blankets. They're all pretty good. I mean, they all seem to look nice. I, um, I did weave a scarf that I took off because I thought it looked horrible. I'm going to get this done today come hell or high water. And I don't think we're expecting either. I say about this, no oi days or anything. I have one I can do. Oh dear. Jewish holidays non-Jewish holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, welcome home, almost anything, because I can. I started making decorated cakes at my eldest daughter's first birthday. She will be 53 in January. I like to be creative. I like to think of what the person likes. and try and custom make any cake to that individual, and I have done that. Ski slopes, a peacock, a Dutch shoe, baseballs, ice skates, pizza pies. Anytime the mood hits, can be midnight, can be early in the morning, I will get up and bake. Voila. And probably the funnier story was, I think when my interviewer was about eight, seven, maybe. She wanted a horse, and I had a horse sitting down. I haven't seen too many horses, or lying down. And in a carton, and in a motel room, hotel room. And when her two-year-old brother, we, came, we went, got, went and got her two-year-old brother and brought him in, and he wanted to see it so badly that he leaned over the box, fell into the box, and beheaded the horse. I was in Baltimore. I had no equipment with me. And my interviewer was hysterical. Not laughing, crying. <laughs> I went to Michael's, bought out everything I could find and fixed it in the hotel room. Is there anything you haven't really done? Yeah, I haven't jumped out of a plane. And I never will. You've reached Bubby on the go. I must be on the go. Can you think of anything else, Stephen? Do you, um, do you like try to be just the most stereotypical grandmother ever? <laughs> no, am I? Do you, do you actively try? No.